Well, hello and welcome to my overview of 1095 carbon steel. Now, it's boring to look at pictures of metal stocks, so I threw in some clips to lead into my points. So, here you go. So I get a real kick out of guys who use the term soft steel. Soft compared to what? Rock? Earth? Concrete? I mean, what do you need to cut with a knife that's harder than steel? I use steel tools every day. Some of it hardened like hand trowels and power trowel blades, and some less hard comparatively like loader bucket teeth, bits, form pins, and shovels. No matter the composition or the heat treatment, these tools last a long, long time. And most of them are put to use at least a few times a week, depending on the type of work we're doing. Steel is hard. Everyone's allowed to have their favorite type, of course, and I must admit I do too. But gee whiz, man, keep it in perspective. Even 420 series stainless can be made to cut like a champ. Just look at Buck, Martini, Gerber, and other respected knife makers. I know it's 420 HC, but it's still 420. So there you go. Now Mora uses 10 series steel in their carbon blades, 1095 to be exact. They harden their blades to 59 or 60 on the Rockwell scale. 1095 carbon steel is the generic steel of choice for knives without stainless properties. If your name brand knife isn't stainless, chances are very good it's 1095, unless otherwise noted. Why? Because 1095 is a very good, cheap to produce knife steel. It's hard to beat until the price point goes up significantly. And here's why. 1095 is a simple steel to make. It only has two alloys in it, carbon and manganese. And because of this, and the fact that it offers a reasonable toughness combined with edge retention, it's widely sought after for knives. So it's easy to make and widely used. And that makes 1095 a perfect product for a good knife priced right. Now according to industry relevant websites, stainless has come a long way since the 1960s, but generally speaking, 1095 carbon is tougher than stainless steel. It's the only real reason anymore a non-traditionalist should go with carbon over a stainless offering, unless you like rust stains and patina. Also, it's been my experience that 1095 takes a slightly cleaner, keener edge than stainless, but it's so close I haven't noticed a real-world performance hit either way. Carbon steel also throws a nice spark, but so does the 12C27 stainless Mora uses, so it's a practical draw. One more advantage, 1095 is cheaper than 12C27 and Mora knives, so if you really want to save a dollar, usually literally one dollar, on a Mora knife, well then you should go with 1095. 1095 carbon steel is a fine knife steel. It's better than 12C27 in every category, including toughness, edge retention, sharpness, and sparking. But really, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference in the field. It is that close. So. If saving a dollar really blows your skirt up and you can deal with the potential of rust, well then go with 1095. I got a bunch of 1095 offerings in different brands and it really is good stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll try and keep them coming.